So let's start to create a custom legend here. As you can see here, when I hover over one of these slices or these legend items, you can see the slice starts to offset or jump out. And of course, if I click on this, you will have this nice working item here. So let's start to look how to create this custom HTML legend right now. So let's start to explore how to create this custom legend for the donut chart. First of all, make sure you have here the boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. And this link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get access to this source code and multiple others, check out my Patreon page here. And finally, join the Discord channel. I have the link, all of these in the description box. All right, so first thing here is let's make this a donut chart. So I'm going to make this a donut chart. I say a donut, there we are. Remove the scales here because those are not necessary. So once we have this, we have to make this, this legend will be converted in a custom legend. So we're going to start working on that. And what we can do here is we can say plugins. And eventually what I will do is here for legend display. And later on, I will say this will be display false. However, right now you want to keep it. Next, what I want to do here is I want to make a plugin as well. So don't get confused here. I'm going to say a comma. I'm going to say a plugins. And this plugin here, we can call our HTML legend plugin. So I'm going to copy this and later on I'll just put here also something. So I'm going to show you here, we're going to say a constant, this equals, and then we have here basically the information, what we're going to do here, and uh, what I will say here is the ID. We can use this or we can say HTML legend. And because we are doing that, we can put that here as well, because this is the ID reference. What we want to do is when would we like to trigger this? We're going to say here the trigger will be after a update or basically when you click on something, it should trigger it, do something as well. So for this, we will use here the chart, the arcs and the plugin options. We can just say like that. There we are. So we have here the basics. Well, let's leave that in here. And here, what I would need here is basically the ID reference. So, and I'm not referring to this ID, I need to have basically here the container ID where we're going to use the HTML legend. So what I will do is just very simple. I'm going to say here a div, and then I say ID, and the ID name will be, we can just say legend dash container. So in here, we'll start to work. And now we have this, I can go here down. And then we can say here the following, the container ID will be equal to legend container. So this reference will be used later on as well. So we have here all of the basics, but before we start to draw here anything, we need to check one thing because we're going to create this legend from a div but it must be dynamic by whatever our data is in here so we first have to create one so we need to check here or basically we need to do two things number one we need to first check do we already have an existing item yes or no and if we do have an existing item we need to do we need to refresh it for example if we have all of these lines here we click on one of those we just get like strike true so we want to have that effect but also the effect that when we hover over an item, the um, the segment will uh, offset basically the following. Now let me just show you. We can just put it in here. We're going to say a hover offset. We say here 20 pixels. What will happen now if I hover over a specific slice, it will automatically jump a bit to show the difference. So this is all nice and you can see here we have still a clipped up area. So let's solve that first before we go any more deeper. So we're going to say plugins, we're going to say here a layout and we can just say here padding and or we can just give it a padding of let's say 50 pixels. So we give 50 pixels extra space here so we are not clipping off any of these slices. 
All right, so we have this here. Of course, we want to make sure that that will be triggered by hoovering on the legend as well. But that is our HTML legend. So in the next video, we're going to work on that part.